I just jumped about slap out of there. One, two, three. Hey, pancakes for breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this type of video, and I would like to thank Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This here is deer meat for dinner. We're out on the ranch right now. All over the world, especially here in the United States of America, we have been getting ravished by a huge drought. Now, water plays a significant part of our ecosystem and our ranch here. We just came over to this spot. We call it the Gator Pond. It's a little reservoir that's got tons and tons of fish in it. But as this drought dries everything up, all these fish are dying left and right. If you ride around this ranch, you're gonna see pond after pond that is completely dry, like a desert dry. So my goal today is to get my cast nets, catch as many fish out of this as I can that I want, favorable fish like bass and bluegill and crappie and stuff like that. We're gonna put them in our bait well and we're gonna take them to our clear pond, which is the deepest, most sustainable water source on this ranch. So I appreciate you guys riding along. Let's get after it. As you can see, that water should be all the way up here. But as I continue to walk further down, literally, we're down to bare bones, nothing. Look out here, you can see fish flipping everywhere. And when they come up and roll like that, they're actually trying to get oxygen, which means the oxygen level in the pond is extremely low, critically low. I just got 25 gallons of water out of the pond there. We're gonna put it in here. The whole goal is to save these fish. So I wanna make it as good as I can on them. Now I'm using this pump. Check this out. Look how much oxygen it puts into the water. That's what I'm talking about. That'll work well. This is the best chum I know of. Good old white bread. Take it, get it wet like that. Then when it comes out, we're just gonna skip it right across the surface there. See how I put the chum all in a central location? Now hopefully the fish start, oh wow. Did you see that? <laughs> Maybe there's some bass in here. Okay, so I brought two types of nets. This is called a minnow net. If you look, the mesh or the squares are very small. Be good for like, like shiners, minnows, tiny bluegill. This is much larger. That's gonna be better for our bigger fish. I'm gonna start off with this net. I wanna tell you guys, it's very important for us to generate income so that we continue to take care of our ranch, take care of all our employees, and continue to make solid videos. The only way I can do that effectively is by using these one minute sponsored videos. And I would like to thank Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Anytime you see me using a product, I promise you it's something that I use and I trust. What's up? Welcome to the condo, everybody. Listen, as a single guy, you never lock anything, you really don't care. But now, as a married man with two little girls of my own, you've got to take care of your stuff. That's why Simply Safe has become a huge part of our lives. Simply Safe is an incredibly effective, reliable way to secure your home. If you've been feeling worried about safety, but putting it off, just dealing with it, you don't have to wait anymore. Simply Safe makes it really easy to secure your home. You just order it online or over the phone. It's delivered right to your home and you set it up yourself in under an hour. From there, your home is professionally monitored 24 seven. If anything happens, they'll make sure the police get called. They've got sensors to cover every window, room, door, plus lots of great extras like water sensors, freeze sensors, and smoke detectors. Visit simplysafe.com forward slash deer meat to learn more. Don't get no 
Oh my Lord, look at all the fish. And I got a stick. Come on. Come on. I got a log. That ain't no stick. Look at that, y'all. Hold on, I'm gonna have to get this. I didn't know that stick was in there. Look at all the gar. Oh, I see a bass right there. I want that bass. Yes, that's what I'm trying to save. What we were doing with all the catfish, we were taking these, cutting their spines off so they would get out of the net a little bit easier. Now, I, it's taken us about an hour or so. I finally have my net where it's somewhat usable again. If you're new to cast netting, whether it's a big net or a small net, if you have sticks and stuff in your net like that right there, it will not allow the net to open properly. So make sure your net is in good shape. Otherwise, you'll never have a good result. That bass is literally the only thing that I caught that is really of, of good value. So I'll put him in here. And now I'm gonna throw a smaller net. This is my minnow net. Hopefully we can catch some more of the smaller um, shiners or bluegill, something like that. We're gonna throw the small net now. Oh, oh, I got something whopper size in there. What is that? Well, hey, oh, I see, that's what I'm looking for, all these little brim. That's big tilapia. This worked better. I don't want them to get all out though. That's what we're looking for, right? Oh, another bass. Look at that big old catfish. One, two, three. Hey, pancakes for breakfast. I feel something kicking around. Oh, there went something just jumping out. More fish. Look at this. Oh, look at all the cat. Oh, big bluegills, bass. Look at that. I'll tell you what, that's a chunky bass. He's gonna be happy to be in some clear water. Choker probably be 12 pounds by next year. Nice big old native bluegill. Yes, sir. -y. They're all going to a new home. Whoa! Homeboy just jumped about slap out of there. Now you can see the reason why we're catching all the fish out of that pond. Because eventually it's gonna look just like this. It'll completely dry up. And that's all the mud we're catching in our cast net. That's what we're pulling up, just all that nasty mud. You can see the bird tracks around here. That's just where the waiting birds are picking everything off. Eventually, there will be no oxygen left in the water. It will all die. And then you're just gonna have buzzards eating it. That's why we're catching all the fish with the cast net before the gator pond dries up. Let's see if we can't make one more cast. Look at these fish literally running, running to the water. They're like, watch out. These are invasive armored catfish. They have completely flooded all the waterways here in South Florida. Even on dry land, they figured out how to survive. These guys, they were caught about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. They've been sitting in the baking sun, but let's say it started to rain. As soon as that water starts coming by here, watch. As soon as it makes a way, Watch what they do. Every one of them will figure out the direction of the water and that's how they survive. They don't all have to survive, just enough so that they can start breeding again. That's why we have armored catfish in nearly every single waterway in South Florida. All right, well, we just made it to our pond and this pond is typically about four feet higher than what it is right now. It's really condensed down and you can see the tops of all the habitats that we put in there. Those are called mossback fish habitats. This is what it looks like underwater. Really beautiful. We've got tons of little fish, 
little fry, bluegills. We've even got some peacock bass in there. That pond is full of life. We're gonna add some friends. And here we go. Now we got some little brim. I just gently let the new water go in. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, Vince is chasing a bluegill. Oh my God, that was a big one. Yeah. <laughs> the pond may be dirty, but the fish are doing just fine. I think the bass are sorting out who's allowed to be here and who's not. That was a big bass. Oh, and there's the alligator. Come here, buddy. Come here. Look at that bullhead catfish. Here's a question. What should we name him? I think we should name him Pork Chop. Pork Chop the bullhead. We're having fun out here. This is our life. This is our world. And we really appreciate you for being a part of it. I would like to thank Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. You guys, you've been seeing these sponsored videos. I do this because it's a way for us to generate revenue with solid products and solid companies so that we can continue to make videos all over the world. This is our life. Thanks for being a part. Take care, God bless, and we are.